Hey guys and welcome on in to today's video where I want to show you how I go about the process of editing the videos that I put on YouTube. I use two different video editors. One of them if I'm just doing basic simple projects and then another one that if I'm doing things that are just slightly more complicated but I actually end up using the simple video editor way more often than not and it's called Windows Movie Maker. Now on Windows 10 what they've replaced this with is called the photos application and i don't really like the photos application as much in terms of uh, going about and editing video so if you're interested in getting the original movie maker i'll have a video posted down in the description walking you through how to get that onto your pc now if i need just a little bit more complicated things that i need to utilize in video editing such as let's just say for instance i want to add blur to a video well something like that isn't uh, capable in the movie maker. So I have another free program that I use that's called hit film express and I'll have a download link to hit film express also down in the description if you want to check that out. But in this video, I want to walk you through how I go about editing my YouTube videos in movie maker. So for this video that I made on the Google Nest Hub setup, I had a bunch of different video clips that I strung together and then I voiced over top of those different clips. So I'm gonna just drag and drop some of these clips in here and get them in the order that you're looking to have these clips show up. And just drag and drop those over into the exact order that you want them to be in. And then you can zoom in and out with this so you can kind of get a better idea of where you are. If you're going to be trimming out certain areas, definitely you want to be zoomed quite close in so you can get a really accurate uh, split and trimming out those different areas. And also, if you don't want to use the audio from the clips that you're uploading and you want to voice over top, well, what you can do in that situation is just select the different uh, clips that you don't want there to be any audio from those clips and go to the video editor option and then click video volume and drag it all the way down to the bottom and then no sound will play in the clips that you had selected and if you want to voice over those clips go to the home tab and click record narration and the microphone that you have set up on your computer will be the one that records that audio you just simply click the record button and talk into the mic voice over top of the clips that you have put together and that's a way where you can go ahead and record video edit it later with your voice and you can also get a very clear crisp audio uh, potentially with the microphone that you have hooked up with your computer as opposed to the one that you might have on your video recorder now you don't have to obviously record narration over top of your different clips. You can just use the audio that is in the clips themselves. Let's say you wanna go about trimming out different sections of these clips. So I'm gonna zoom in to get just really accurate here. And to go about doing this, just find the start of the area that you want to trim out and go to the edit button and just click split. And then take that little cursor or this little black line here and go to where you want your split to end and click split again and then you just go ahead select that area click delete on your keyboard and it will get rid of that section of the video clip now i recommend going about and editing the video clips first taking out the sections that you don't need and then once all of the video has been edited all of the different clips are exactly how you want them and if you're in a situation where you want to do voiceover then at that point go to the home tab and do record narration and the nar narration is going to start recording wherever this black line is located. You can also add music, for instance, and there's a bunch of other different options here and there in terms of transitions, adding different text and titles and captions on the screen. You can rotate uh, the image. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. You should just record it in whichever orientation that you want, but that is there. Uh, you can also have your audio fade in and out. You can speed up how fast the video is playing. Uh, you can set a start point for your video. So let's just say we wanted to start right where this line is and we can click start point and it will get rid of the area that's before that start point. And you can do the same thing at the end, wherever you want your video to end, that's where you should put the black line and click set end point and it will trim off uh, that part that was to the right of the black line in that instance. So those are the main functions that you're going to be using here uh, on the Windows Movie Maker editor. 
There's also a lot of other functions that you're probably never going to use in the animations, visual effects, um, and these different areas. You can have your narration be emphasized. You can have the video uh, be emphasized. You can emphasize the music, different uh, changes there with the options. And you can also have your video be standard four by three. You're probably going to want it 16 by 9, though, because that is the format that is much more common in today's day and age. And then when you're all done, you can go ahead and click File. And I recommend you saving your project first, and then you can save the movie. There's a bunch of different settings here. I recommend just going ahead and doing uh, for high definition display 1080p. Um, that's probably going to work out pretty well for you in terms of... Um, having that video save and be in nice quality 1080p so that when you upload it to YouTube, people can watch it in HD. So that's pretty much all that I wanted to touch on in this video, walking you through how you can go about using an external video editor to get your YouTube videos up and running and exactly how you want them to be once you put them and upload them over to YouTube. So I appreciate you guys stopping on in. Consider subscribing for more and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.